What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about new world. Today we are giving you the top 3 locations for raw hide farming. Most people have extremely populated servers and sometimes when you are farming for materials your spot is taken. So that is why I am giving you my top 3 locations for raw hide farming. But before I get into that, my name is Kzox and this channel was created to donate a portion of revenue from this channel to nonprofit organizations that help out disabled veterans like myself. And by watching, you're contributing, so I think each and every one of you. Rawhide drops from enemies such as wolves, bears, boars, pumas, and alligators. However, if the level of the enemy is too high, it will start to drop thick hides instead of rawhides, and we are after those rawhides. On top of that, there have been nerfs to certain areas, but this video considers those nerfs and it is current as of today, October 17th. And here are the top 3 areas, in my opinion, to farm raw hide. It is highly recommended to use a tool with bonus yield and a proficiency booster to boost it further, so always keep that in mind with this farm. Then always take a look at the region buffs. Some regions have a buff that boosts skinny yield by 20% and to check this out go to the regions town hall in the city and under improved lifestyle there is an active buff section. Under there you will see all the active buffs if any and if skinny is an active buff I would consider focusing on these areas. The first area is the lowest leveled area but still provides a huge amount of raw hide and I get up to around 1500 every 10 minutes. This location is in Marnox Bluff and the cave we are after is Ofal Grotto. It is conveniently located close to a shrine and here there's a lot of links to kill but we are focusing on 5 of them, 3 in the cave and 2 right just outside the cave. I would recommend grabbing a ranged weapon to help you lure enemies to you so you don't have to run to each one of them as that's gonna waste more time. I would use life staff if you want self healing and it also attacks faster than the musket or bow. Keep in mind you are just luring the enemies with your ranged weapon. You don't want to one hit kill them otherwise you're going to have to walk to each one of them. Ice Gauntlet is also a good option for AOE damage and these are always something to consider with all the hide farm locations. What I like to do is hit each one of them with a ranged attack, lure them all to me and then kill them in a few swings. Each one of these kills give me around 30 to 50 raw hide each, giving me about 1.5k to 1.2k raw hides every 10 minutes depending on your luck. The next area is for players who are around level 30 because you kill level 34 enemies. This area is currently my favorite area because it is far from town and not a lot of players know about it. This is in Cutlass Keys at Fort Ramos. This spot is bad for those of you who want to be closer to the main trader hubs such as Windward or Everfall because it is on the other side of the map. However, this isolation gives you a higher probability that you will not be interrupted by others. If you are near level 30, I would suggest using a life staff for self heal and I am level 46 here and I am still having a hard time staying alive. In this area, there are 6 wolves to kill, 3 on the outside and 3 directly inside. There are also times where you are going to have to deal with the other enemies within the camp so keep that in mind. Each one of these kills give me around 45 to 60 raw skins each giving me around 1800 to 2200 raw skins every 10 minutes. The spawn rate in this area is the same as the last one, the rotations are around 1 to 2 minutes between spawns. And the last farm is in Cutlass Keys extremely south next to the Skull Worm Shrine. What is different about this one compared to the other two is that the spawn rates are a little slower. However, this area is never farmed but still provides you with a decent amount of raw hides and on average, I get around 1400 to 1600 raw hides every 10 minutes. I would consider this spot if the other two spots are taken. However, if you want the best spots, then the second spot I mentioned in Cutlass Keys right next to Fort Ramos gives you the most per minute. Now if you gathered for an hour at Fort Ramos, that will net you around 13,200 raw hides. And if you have a tier 5 skinny knife, that is going to be even higher. If you listed all of these raw hides on the market and for my server that is around 60 cents each, this will net you 3,960 coin or gold every single hour. And that's it for this video. I hope I gave you some new options in raw hide farming. And if I helped you out, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe me as it greatly helps out my channel reach more viewers, more views, helps me donate even more to disabled veterans. Thank you all for tuning in and listening and until next time.